guys, Tava here, and if you've ever been trying to edit in Final Cut Pro and realized that your file sizes are just absolutely massive in your storage or external hard drives or wherever, and you don't have enough space to edit your projects or store things, today I'm going to be showing you a fix for that and how to reduce your Final Cut Pro file sizes so there isn't so much empty file stuff just sitting around and clogging up your computer or hard drives. So if I just go into my external hard drive, you can see I have a project here for Final Cut Pro called Winter 2019, and it has a file size of 226.4 gigabytes. And I know for a fact that I don't have that many gigabytes of footage of actual like video clips. It's other stuff that's kind of just clogging up the system. So this fix is actually very easy to do. All you're gonna do is right click on this project, go into show package contents, and in there you're gonna see all the specific events for the Final Cut Pro library. So just as an example, this event right here for Colt Valley, which is a video I just made a few days ago, if I right click on it and do get info, you can see how many gigabytes of storage there is that's using up in this specific event. As you can see, it's 88.9 gigabytes. And I'm very positive that it's not that much footage, but just to confirm that, if I double click into this, you can see original media, which is the footage that you shot, if you right click that and get info, I can see that it's only 9.1 gigabytes of actual footage. So that means that there's 80 other gigabytes of footage that are somewhere else stored here and just bogging down my system. So I could look through all of these like the analysis and render files, but I happen to know that this information is stored in the transcoded media section. So if I right click on that and click get info, you can see that it's 79.75 gigabytes of storage is just in my transcoded media, which isn't my footage at all. And just to show you what I mean, if I click into transcoded media, you can see high quality media, and all these clips are basically just the files that Final Cut Pro has basically analyzed to make them run smoother within the program itself, so you can play back things more smoothly. But as you can see, the file sizes are absolutely massive. So this video clip right here was maybe 500 megabytes to a gigabyte, but here it's now 9.94 gigabytes. So it just exponentially increases the size of each file, making it very hard to store places and annoying if you're trying to store a lot of files. But the one thing to keep in mind with this transcoded media is you don't really need it if you're not actively editing the project. If you're just storing the project on your computer or an external hard drive so you can go back to it later and maybe see some things but aren't actively editing it, there's no reason to have this transcoded media. So what I do is just right click and move to trash, and then I can empty my trash and I just saved 80 gigabytes of storage. Now by doing this, I realize that some people are probably pretty hesitant to this because they think it might be deleting their project, but trust me when I say it does not delete your project at all because all the original media is still there. Everything that I originally shot and imported into Final Cut Pro still exists. Just the analyzed files that added up to all that space are gonna be gone. So if I come here and empty my trash and I go back to this Colt Valley folder and I do get info, you can see that the folder is now only 9.16 gigabytes where it was over 88 I think before. So you can just see a massive reduction in file size which allows you to store a lot more files. The only downside to this is if you do open up the project again to try and edit it again, it will have to reanalyze the files which will create all that memory to go back and add up to all those gigabytes. But the really nice thing is just for storage, this is a great way to reduce a massive amount of your file sizes. Anyway, that's it for today. If you found this video helpful or useful in any way, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.